right, uh, the hand is a bit slow and we are on the draw, but I try to keep this cold because the spells are pretty powerful and the lands are strong. Going to see a Duris here probably or Cable Therapy. Ritual. Oh, that's a strong start. Need a sword, sword right now or Mox here. Yeah, Mox is a bit of broken. Okay, I want to play the Mox here. And discard probably a wasteland. Maybe the forest. Or the windswept heath. Windswept heath. And then I will try to play port. Get the O stone. And if I get one trigger from that, that might be enough. Yeah, this was pretty lucky to hit a mox from top. Sword would have been a good draw, but hopefully we keep the seven library and the treetop village. Okay, treetop village gone, but seven library here to stay. Unmask will get the seven library. Okay, some free spells. Let's hit a huge terror war here. Not great for four. Uh, I think the right thing to do is play Thermocast here. But he might some he might have something like um, snuff out for the first Terra War, but he would play this in my um, okay. I don't know. Yeah, he's skipping a lot. Uh, so turn off auto yields. It's the first thing to do. Mudo is so bugged sometimes. Was really lucky to not lose a whole turn here. Okay, second main. Gets the planes down. Um, tap his remaining forest. And now okay. so he will block now. Treetop village is fine. And probably hoping to hit something better than a hypnotic specter with the O's trigger here. But turn one O's if opponent Use two cards to play a creature on turn one is pretty broken. Okay, I want to tap here. It's not going to make a difference, but this can make the terrible pretty huge. Ah, no hand, no land was hit there. Okay, next turn I would like to attack with Street of Village. And Terra War. Snuff out. Okay. Cool card. It's like something like Mono Black Free Spells. But this will. Ah, okay. I think this would grow my terror war because this dies. Am I ready to attack with it? No, I don't want. If he wanted to get rid of a tree top village, I think. I know, I think he wants to block again. So, same procedure as the turn before. With the trigger on stack, I will catch his last mana here. It's sweet that we are secure against a card like um, Innocent Blood, because we can activate the Treat of Village and sacrifice then. Okay, next hippie, but this will be huge now. Okay. So now we can attack with the Treat of Village. 
Patch stand would be great. Okay, pretty broken start. I think we will face something like Parish or Dystopia. Um, Angel is decent. I'm not sold on the Sphere of Resistance plan right now. Because we are on the draw. Another Ray of Revelation might be fine. To handle cards like Phyrex in Arena and Dystopia. And Call of the Herd seems tempting. Not sure how good the land destruction plan is. Because he can just bring that up, uh, the spells out with Dark Ritual pretty fast. Okay, that's fine. Not great, but it could be great. We have a turn one um, Spectre covered. And if he goes for the call here with a discard spell. Okay, what do I want to do here? I think playing Tree Top Village and the Mox Diamond pitching Forest is a good thing to do. Now we got the sword up. Not sure if I want to slam the call of her next turn. Cause that would be bad against Dystopia, but I, I think I would do this. Cause if he does not have Dystopia and I make a follow up elephant next turn, could be great. Okay, the arena is here. That's a strong one. Unmask. Okay, good thing is Unmask just discards. So we get the other half of the call. And O's is great. He could have a card like Dystopia, but I would be fine trading um, my O's against the Dystopia, because Dystopia will be a problem during the whole game. Winter's Grasp, not completely wrong. Get this down. But, yeah, we. it's not great to play the land destruction spell here if we are behind on cards. Maybe it would have been better to pressure his life points or to play Call of the Herd to hope that he will um, mill some cards. And we find a Ray of Revelation if we mill again. Okay, Forest. Now oh, we're in trouble. Oh, what? Uh, I'm not sure. Activate this. I think we need to attack. Was a man lens? So what about this and that? I want to activate the factory first, if he has a edict effect. I want to keep my treetop village around. Could be important. So if this damage comes through, we are in a good position here, okay? We have a creature covered on his side with our O's and our sword. So he needs a dystopia first. Grave bomb use maybe. Drain life for two, okay. If this is a game. Okay, exalted angel is a great one. I think I will just hard cast that. Giving him the opportunity to do something with the O's. But if he does, and if he handles the angel from that point, the O's is going strong. 
I can still get one activation even if he has a dystopia for that or I can sacrifice a treetop village first if he has dystopia we are a bit weak to a uh, edict effect now okay he might have an edict effect for mana snuff out hard cast it's fine Terror War, it's okay. Okay, let me uh, activate this one. Okay, I should have activated this with a Wasteland Mana. Would have been a slightly better play, I guess. And again, I'm offering him to activate uh, or to use the Oath Trigger. Call of the Hurt in the Graveyard is sweet. And I even have the uh, opportunity to wasteland my own wasteland or another land to bring in more damage, which uh, won't hop happen often, but sacrificing my wasteland might be a play. But we are strongly regarding on his play this turn to see what we need to do okay he could drain life the terror war or maybe corrupt Maybe he just plays uh, four hypnotic spectre and just board them all out in the face of the was of druids. Yeah, corrupt here. Drain life is fine. Giving him four life again. We attack for five. Another oath. It's not great. So I think the right play here is to attack for two and cause we need some more time uh, I will flashback the call of the herd and he really needs a plan okay he still has a lot of life and six cards in hand but we are doing eight damage a turn if he has no response to this but i think we will see some okay hippie disc that's a sweet one. This will really hurt. But this will kill his arena too. Okay, another sword. Do I want to... Take with a factory, potentially traded versus... Uh, Art like Hypnotic Spectre. I keep the planes up here for the sword because the Mox Diamond could die in upkeep with the Oath Trigger on stack. And I want to use my mana because we will probably lose the Mishra's factory here. If he blocks the factory, I think about sorting here. Okay, worst thing that could happen is um, cable therapy on sword supporters. But we still have the follow up out of druids. Snuff out. Okay. Okay, here I, I, I use one of the swords to get rid of the spectre. Not a great turn for us, but. Um, 
it, it was necessary. We go to 4 here. And next turn I uh, take with the elephant. If he does not handle it, he could have a corrupt or something like this. Corrupt would be a great card. I think we are in a bad position right now. Because one corrupt or another drain life will set him. Yeah, it's it's corrupt. Um, and he has another one in hand. Otherwise, he would have probably gone for the elephant. Brushland, that's a dead draw. Okay. I think I need to... If I activate here, he pops the disc. We get the factory. Okay. Don't want to attack with the factory right now. But we are pretty far behind. If he has another spell like Corrupt or Drain Life, it's almost over. We have some play with a sword of on our own creature to get some life, but he has that covered with a Neverest disc. Unmask, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's an argument to activate factory, attack with both, forcing him to activate this, but I don't think it's super strong. Okay, next turn we are just losing against... Uh, no, this turn we would have lost against another corrupt. Still not popping. Still wants to draw corrupt. Okay, flipping Spectre here. Seventeen cards left, but it will hard will be hard to beat. Yeah, that's corrupt mana again. Good game. Okay, in this case, it's more like mono black control after sideboarding. We really want thermocast. Um, spheres are fine. I do not have so much space, but this could all potentially be in. Um, I nine cards to cut. The swords are not great against four Spectre. But on the other hand, we can just lose against the turn one Spectre. Um, let's get rid of the swords. Might be a bit risky, but... End of the O's. Maybe not completely the O's. Crumble. And... Yeah, let's cut another O's. It wasn't great. Last game, it just... There is an argument to bring in Zurin Orb. But we do not have the space. Zurin Orb to make the Terravors bigger and to gain some life. Wow, that's horrible. Not capable. That is really, really bad. But let's try this. Yeah, that's annoying. I think we need to ship the Exalted Angel, because we do not have white mana. But the Mulligan really felt bad. And this is a horrible starting 6 against Mono Black Control. So he will lead with the Duress. 
or Spectre or Arena. Yeah, that's horrible. I need Naturalize right now. Unmask. Great starting hand, not going to lie. Taking Spear of Resistance here. That was impressive start. I think it can't get better for the control deck. But yeah, as you saw in game one, how lucky we were with the top deck mocks. But it's a fun matchup. I don't think it's uh, good for mono black control, but this deck seems adjusted for the Terror Oath decks with all the free spells. So he did a great job there. Uh, okay. Uh, this was completely stupid. He skipped my whole turn again. You saw it. Man, that's so annoying on Magic Online. I did nothing. I just it was in his first main. I, I clicked like yield until next uh, uh, yield through this turn and he skipped my complete turn. So we can't win like this. I'm tempted to scoop this up. This was super annoying. But this happens a lot if you play Magic Online. Because the problem is you need to take a look at the clock a lot because otherwise often you will time out against uh, some matchups. Okay, port. This was annoying. Man, this changed the whole game. We were in a pretty bad spot before, but now it's like... I think we can't win from this spot. Because this would have been the turn where I dropped uh, the third land. Go for Winter's Grasp. Okay, we need something like Sylvan Library. Okay, Sphere of Resistance is fine, but just imagine if uh, Modo wouldn't skip my whole turn. He would be in a great position. And it's a problem with, I guess, priority in the back end of the software. Because if I uh, um, click yield through this turn and the opponent does it in the exactly same second, I guess the active player or millisecond is responsible for just skipping the whole turn. Okay, Windswept Heath is not great. Okay, next turn I try to take with the Treetop Village will open up to some uh, removal spells then, but I still have the ability to um, double port. I really need something like seven library. Here's the library, so my plan with the attack is not ready yet. Really want to get the Sylvan library down now. Hope to get at least one activation out of it. But it's still scary. If we draw extra cards, um, he can just shoot damage. Okay. 
Exalted Angel is fine. But she, he should have a removal for that at that point. He's at 17. Okay, so library on top, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can cast the angel. Still have the ability to um, double spell at uh, double port. But next turn he can just start shooting. So probably he has a removal spell for the angel in the end step. And we die to drain life plus corrupt or two of them. In one turn, so four mana here to cast this face down. Okay, so if I he will have his 8th land now, so I think even if a card like Drain Life hits the Angel, it's a win for us. Of course, it won't hit face right now, and he needs to spend like 5 mana for that. And we are weak to a um, card like... Okay, Spinning Darkness is enough. Another sphere of resistance is decent. Factory is good. I don't know if I'm allowed to draw an extra one here. I don't think so. But it won't change the mass too much. So let's get the sphere down. Uh, Neville's disc would be a great draw for him. Then we hopefully need find a card like Naturalize. Corrupt is 8 mana now. But it's just too brutal to beat a turn one arena plus uh, unmask for us with resistance. Neville's disc. Okay, unmask for Terra War. It's fine for six mana. He can't play re removal on Treetop Village. So we have an attack here. Call of the Herd. I'm not sure. He needs to handle this, but I think I just want to make the mainland plan here. He can't even cast a free spell here because I have two spheres of resistance. Okay, he go to eleven. But now the corrupt is open. We did our best. 
But now he's at 8 mana with a swamp, and then he shoots 10 face next turn again. I'm not even mad losing against this cool other saga card, but I'm a bit mad at Magic Online skipping whole turns. Okay, Thermocast. We might get really lucky. But we need to spend 5 mana for that. But he's at 20 life again, so he can tw draw 20 more cards. Um, yeah, we lost the whole turn against uh, the software, but I'm not sure if this would have changed the game much. Yeah, good game. 